Hey guys, Alexis here, in for Naomi, and here to bring you this week's top five gaming stories of the week. Let's get to it. Number five, after a longer than long wait, Watch Dogs finally got a Wii U release date. Expect the title to hit North America on November 18th and Europe on the 21st. Now you can put those numerous delays behind you and focus on causing chaos in Chicago. Number four, Capcom announced that Resident Evil Revelations 2 will be an episodic experience. The game's campaign will be made of four downloadable segments that will be released weekly. Each episode will be $6 individually or $25 with a season pass. The retail copy will then be issued upon release of the final episode. Look for all that in early 2015. Number three, Nintendo unveiled three custom 3DS XL designs, two of which are GameStop exclusives, the NES controller design releasing October 10th and Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth version on November 25th. Meanwhile, nationwide retailers will get a custom Super Smash Bros. 3DS September 19th. All three handhelds will go for $200 a pop. Number two, according to the Wall Street Journal, Microsoft is in serious talks to purchase Mojang, the company behind the massive gaming franchise, Minecraft. If it happens, Microsoft would acquire complete control over the Minecraft series. The deal is said to be valued at more than $2 billion. And number one, Grand Theft Auto V is coming out November 18th on PS4 and Xbox One and January 27th on PC. This new addition to the game will come with new cars, weapons, challenges, and activities like wildlife photography. GTA Online's player count will also be bumped up to 30 players on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And that's our top five gaming stories of the week. Don't forget to check out all our Daily Fix episode for more news, including our Friday Fix for Giant Destiny giveaway. Have a great weekend, everyone, and thanks for watching. Bye.